first of all, you have to literally reprogram and uh, design your frame of, of thinking. Like for example, to be positive was the unhealthy thinking. And so that is the first thing, you gotta be positive. The second, leadership is nothing about you. You're okay, it's mostly about others. So you have to have that love and passion, compassion uh, and care for others. Okay, so, so you have to see everything and see the opposite of it and stay away from that. When you see somebody is self-centered or focused, they have more work to start doing that. And again, it, ha it has to be natural. Not all people are naturally, uh, you know, born with the leadership quality. Leaders are made. So you need to cultivate that leadership quality within and grow yourself with it. You have to be a decision maker and independent. And of course, uh, action taker and uh, initiator, okay? Don't wait for things to happen. Don't things, you know, for, don't wait for somebody to tell you what to do. So you, if, if you initiate, you start like this is, this need to be done that way. You don't like complain and whine and grump about why it's done wrong. You do something about it if it's not happy. So most people, they just find it easier to complain or like blame somebody else or criticize them than do it yourself. So I say, you haul, you do it, okay? You make that move. So that to me is, is a big deal. Like you initiate. If, if, if you wait for things to happen, you're not there at the leadership. And leadership is levels, okay? Because what you do for others, you know, you're not at the same level when you start. So today I meet you. Like, okay, you heard good things about me. I don't have much leadership between us. It takes time. Most people think like I could demand that leadership. That's management. You have a position at work. I'm your boss. You listen to me because you have to. Okay, there's consequences if you don't listen, if you want to keep that job, if you want to get paid. But you don't necessarily like me or respect me or admire me. You just want to make a living. That's management. So leadership takes time. And it's, it's not about what you know, or it's about what you do, do action for others. And the more you make that difference in their life and impact them, the bigger the influence in them following you, they start believing in you and trusting you, they, fo they, they follow you automatically. If they don't know you all that, they will be skeptical. They just do what they have to do. But when they believe in your vision and they buy into it and you see and they see and recognize what you're doing for them, for the business, for others, they respect you and admire you more. It, it, it takes time. Most people think, uh, I want to become a leader. Well, first of all, you've got to start with your own self. You got to start with yourself. Why? You got to become a, ber a better version of you. And, and equip yourself and cultivate the qualities of a leader within, then you go to your close ones, the, 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 the narrow circle. And then you expand a growth. You know, it's, it's where you want to go, who you want to influence, who you, you want to inspire. Uh, leadership simply influence. The, the stronger the influence you have on somebody, they would follow you. It's about following you because you're taking them from a point A to point Z or D, whatever they want to go. You help them take, so you haul them to where they want to go. It's not about you, where you want to reach or get that position. That's management. And in business, it's needed, it's necessary, okay? But not in leadership. Now, if your business is all about management and positions and all that, yeah, that's for good, God be with you. But when it becomes more of a relationship and, 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 and leadership is the ultimate bond. Now your partners, now it's their business before your business. They take ownership in your vision because you keep casting that vision. They believe in it. Okay, my, oh, I get it. Yeah, yeah. No. 
man, this is amazing. I want to go with that out. And they trust that you have the capacity or the ability to take them there because being, you know, a good mouth, that's not enough or not even. So casting the vision is something, but being serious about it, being genuine about it and taking the action and knowing how to get there and have the ability, or at least they have the trust in you that you will get there no matter what. Okay. They feel comfortable and they will, will follow you all the way to the end. You have to give that assurance to your people and, and, and the comfort and the conviction that you know exactly where you're going. People don't follow a weak leader. They, they follow somebody very strong, very bold. Do it or die. That's my you know, ideology. That, yeah, people, I'm going to go with that. People, we're, You're not going to follow somebody who says, ah, let's try. We'll see what happens. Yeah. I'll give it a month. If it doesn't work, I move on to the next one. I'm going to keep, I will die every day until I do it. You see? So that's one thing. But now you trust in that leader because no matter what, I know he's going to be doing this. I'm in good shape. I'm in good hand. I'm in good shape. Why? Because this guy is no way. You need to nuke him. You know what nuke means? Like bomb him with a nuclear bomb and he wouldn't quit or give up on his vision. You want to follow a strong leader. People follow a strong leader. Got to be strong. Know where you're going. You have that. You have to have the vision. You don't want to be vague. You don't know where you're going to test or try. No, I know exactly. So you're clear on your direction, on your ideology. Not like, oh, I never thought about that. Why would you? You know, people don't like wobbly, <laughs> squeaky. Leader, you got to be firm, you know exactly where you're going. And I'm going to go there. I know how to get there and I will do it or die. I would follow that leader blindly. So you, ha you have to have the conviction, the belief, and really be genuine about it. Don't fake it. I'm never going to tell you, oh, make it or make them feel or trick them. But that's different. That's not what I'm telling you. I'm sharing with you. you. If you really believe in what you're doing, know exactly where you're at, and you have the capacity, the mental capacity, the leadership quality, and you do whatever it takes to get there, I would hop on your bus any night, any day. So you got to start with yourself. Love and accept yourself. Believe in what you're doing. Know where you're going. And then it will expand outside your yourself so if you're not real you're not genuine it's not gonna last you're not gonna fool people or trick them they're very intelligent they will know by dealing with you and the true you will come out so it's not something that you have to come up like it's not a made-up thing it, it you have to organically grow yourself and cultivate that uh that, that vision, that fa passion, where you want to go. So you, you're going to attract enough people to believe in the vision that you cast. But of course, then action. And then they need to trust that you would sacrifice for them. It's not about you. It's not about money. Like they have to feel that I trust this leader, he or she, that they will do anything to protect me. So leaders cross the river first. They go the risk. They take the, the hard stuff. They do it first. And then they make it easy for you. They create a system or they um, invite you with conviction that you're going to be fine. They, they put you on those shoulders. They carry you along. They don't have to ask you or tell you what to do. You walk behind them electively by choice because you admire what they do, that you respect and you believe in their way and vision, and you just voluntarily you follow them. You haul. Okay. But if it's a manager, it's like a you know, new relationship, yeah, just like I have to do it. It's not like not it's not. 
optional. I, uh, it's mandatory. I have to do it. So how do you start by leading and influencing and changing the world? Smile. My friend in uh, California, I mean, I, uh, I used to be like, he's like, you know, the elbow. You're not the only one, Rob Gorman. Okay, he, he used to elbow me like, like a child, smile. Like I'm passing by, I'm not paying attention. I don't even know there's a child in the room or, you know, walking by or something. Like he would elbow me, there's a child, smile, idiot, rude. He taught me how to smile with a baby. So begin with that. I wasn't born with that. You got to remanufacture yourself. See where you are, where you want to go, the qualities that you have to possess and, and, and practice. Start working on them. It's not easy, but it's possible. If you love what you're doing, you will do it. How do I grow my uh, quality as a leader? Why? How do I start? Yeah, after like you believe in your vision, you have that love and you like you accept yourself. No, that's that's good. But then start reading about leadership. Got to educate yourself, okay, about understanding human behavior, okay? Leaders are readers. To continue teach, leading, you got to continue learning. Not just reading. Reading is one avenue. So it, if you can, if you want to continue leading, the more you know, the better you can lead. Knowledge is power. Just, just be honest. If you're not genuine, if you're not honest, I would be skeptical to follow you. I'm going to have to think. If you're going to have to be alert, like, with who you're working with or following, like, oh, the, the, is this up to something? Uh, change your leaders, okay? Uh, why? Because basic decency, you've got to be honest. You've got to be honest. 